Welcome to Battlefield 4 on PS4, guys and girls. This game is so, so beautiful. I can't help but peer out every single window because it's so gorgeous at every turn. DICE has crafted an insanely awesome looking game that is leaps and bounds better than its current gen counterparts. It's just so almost serene. The cityscapes, the landscapes, you can't help but just sit and stare and peer until you remember that you're playing Battlefield 4. What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and the destruction and intensity of battle here has reached a serious peak. It is so visceral, you have explosions realistically blowing up around every corner. You have crazy debris flying by your ears almost every other moment and it's just, it's insane. It looks so good, it's so fun to play, it controls so well and just delivers a knockout PlayStation 4 experience. I think especially, like I said, if you play it on console, you're going to notice an exponential increase in how good this game looks. Now, granted, if you played it on a superpower PC, maybe it won't be as evident to you. But for me, a console guy, it's really huge. And it not only looks really pretty and just makes my eyes smile, but it also enhances the gameplay because the graphical fidelity allows you to spot guys at farther distance. It allows you to pinpoint your targets with greater precision because you're not dealing with pop-in, you're not dealing with random fog of war effects that may or may not be there. You're not dealing with blurry textures. You're not dealing with blurry, you know, smoke and or sand or whatever else I, I ran into on 360. Here, everything is pristine and clear, and you can just really dive into the very, very solid game uh, as it shines through perfectly with the power of the PlayStation 4. Um, it's impressive to me that these launch games look as good as they do. I know there was some concern that maybe the next gen wouldn't really be that much of a, of a graphical beast and uh, we wouldn't see it for a while, but I think with how good they look at launch, games like NBA 2K14, games like Battlefield 4, Killzone Shadowfall, I can't imagine how good things are going to look. You know, even next holiday, I think the games will be significantly better once studios have more time with the system. And then imagine three, four years down the road, you have to compare something from past generation, like take Perfect Dark Zero, the launch of Xbox 360, and compare it to The Last of Us, the PlayStation 3's, you know, super huge hit of the year. It's insane. The difference is so huge. And I'm already seeing so many cool things in this generation graphically. I can't wait to find out where they're going to go and, and what we're going to experience in 2015, 2016. It just, I can't even imagine it right now. But I've compiled a number of clips here to kind of showcase some of the different maps and the different environments you're going to see in this game. And they are all so pretty. I, I hate being someone who's obsessed with graphics, but man, the last few days I've been obsessed with graphics because it just, it really is a sight to behold. And what's amazing is that you're not having to fine tune any settings. You're not having to piece together the perfect PC. You're not having to spend tons of money on a crazy good graphics card. You're buying a $400 console, which is still a lot of money, but you're buying it and right out of the box, it does everything exactly how you want it to do. It looks just outstanding. And yeah, there are some games that are kind of not as impressive. Um, some just don't really make as much of a leap here in their first round as others. But like I said, that trio of Killzone, Battlefield, and NBA, just those are the three games if you really want to be blown away. And Need for Speed, definitely as well. Those four, actually, are so superb. And, and here, I think my favorite part about Battlefield in comparison to other first-person shooters is the level of destruction and just epic scope of the battles. Um, even though I'm not really a vehicle person, I get such a extreme joy out of stuff like this where all of a sudden concrete is just popping off and, it, and it's more realistic and more true to life here than ever before there's way more particle effects way more debris um just a lot more going on in this version of battlefield 4 than i've experienced like i said in any console shooter i have ever played uh, it's just i know i'm kind of gushing here about the visuals but it, it really is that pretty um just to talk a little bit about how the game plays, I think it controls really well. Um, on the DualShock 4, you know, they really made a lot of effort to refine the controller into something that would be a better fit for games like this. So they've improved the triggers, they've improved the sticks, um, and they've improved the buttons, but most noticeably here, it's the triggers. I feel like, rather, I don't feel like there's any issue playing with a PlayStation controller now. Previously, I was like, I don't really like the DualShock 3, it's not really my thing for shooters, and some people liked it, sure, but I think a lot of people found it tricky to use. I don't feel like there's any issue now. I don't think twice, I'm just running around and gunning die guys down as best as I can. Um, the sticks themselves are probably my favorite sticks of all time. I'm still 
I still got to see the Xbox One controller in action to, to determine which triggers I like better, but I think I can say that I like the PS4 sticks the most. Um, I've played Battlefield 4 on Xbox One and PS4, and it feels, dare I say, better on PS4 because those sticks are so smooth and nice. In terms of which game looks better graphically, I don't know that yet, and um, I haven't had a chance, obviously, to play Xbox One Battlefield 4 in my house, but I'm sure that it will look almost as good or just as good. The game is going to knock it out of the park for you uh, visually, no matter which platform you decide to go for. Um, I've also played the campaign not on this generation, but on last generation, but from the quick bits I have seen, it does look, obviously, a whole lot better as well, and that's a pretty decent campaign. I wouldn't go as far to say it's a great campaign, but it's a pretty fun campaign, um, and it definitely carries, I feel, a better pace than Call of Duty goes. So if you're looking for the more complete package between those two military shooters, I think I definitely do recommend Battlefield 4. There's just something about it this year that really seems to click for me. Um, my friends really liked Battlefield 3, uh, and I just, I couldn't get into it as much as I wanted to. I was much more into Black Ops and Black Ops 2, and Something about the games this year has kind of created a flip-flop where I'm really enjoying, holy goodness, really enjoying Battlefield, um, and stuff like that just seals the deal for me, because um, where else do you get that? I'm so happy that they brought back Destruction. You know, it was kind of missing from Battlefield 3 in a lot of spots, but hey, now they really have enhanced again the entire field. This is just a little clip of me wandering around by myself, but I thought this was such a pretty environment. Um, that I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, actually, this was the first glimpse I had of Battlefield 4 because I just jumped in and, and the servers, uh, I, I couldn't get into a game, so I was like, hey, let's just load a map. And, and the shine of the, the water, the reflections especially, uh, blow me away here. And just the way that everything reacts, bark blowing off, concrete collapsing and just crushing around your bullet fire. Um, and then the ability to actually take down uh, some things, like we'll see here in about, I don't know, one second as the trees just <laughs> snap and crackle right at the whim of our grenade. Equally impressive, just testing out some different things here. Um, you're no longer just making a, a designed hole in the wall. It's making, you know, specific indentations and blowing off bits. The water also, the way it flows and ebbs and just kind of crests while you walk through it looks really good as well um, again just shooting trees and taking off bark like every uh, every good man with a brand new console should do I really really am happy with next gen um, overall and I think that we haven't had a lot of great shooters this year my favorite is probably Dead Space 3 and that's way back in whatever February or March um, and I was a little bit let down by Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts uh, on current gen and I think that Obviously, graphics do a lot for me, but the new wave of shooters are much more fun. And Killzone is great, I think, and Battlefield 4 is really good. And even Call of Duty Ghost seems more enjoyable on next gen, uh, just because it's so dang pretty. What I'm really interested to see is where they take shooters uh, after this year. You know, we have kind of this cross-gen thing going on right now. Battlefield 4 was obviously designed for PC and, and 360 PS3 and the next-gen system. Same with Call of Duty Ghosts and, and same with a lot of games, just Fall Assassin's Creed, etc. But where do they take things both from a visual standpoint and a gameplay standpoint next year and the year beyond that? Are they able to do things with the newfound power uh, that they couldn't do previously so that it kind of revolutionizes or changes the genre? I think we're all eager to see if Titanfall can do that, what kind of adjustments they make there and, and how that not only affects you know, your eyeballs, but your fingers as well, and the overall gameplay experience from both a moment-to-moment -moment, uh, standpoint and just a multiplayer overall uh, sort of wide meta game standpoint. What can they do to merge single-player and multiplayer or keep things uh, very connected and interesting? You know, Destiny trying to mix in sort of an MMO flair uh, with gun battles and, and how that all works out because we've had sort of the same kind of game for years and years on 360 PS3 PC and, and now with improved power that not only can pump out better visuals but can enhance things such as AI and or amount of players and or just some things you can do with the cloud and online that probably weren't as easy before. You know, what changes do they decide to make? How do they decide to evolve both series? Because I think that that would be really in the best interest of the first person shooter genre so we don't go into sort of a fps slump um and i think that this is the year to do it uh, you don't want to really have people wear out their welcome with these games nonetheless this one is really really cool and i think uh if you're looking to pick up 
one of the military shooters this year. Battlefield 4 is probably the way to go. Better campaign. Um, it's prettier. And I think the multiplayer might be a more solid uh, piece of work uh, than what Call of Duty Ghost has to offer. So that is going to do it for me and this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the very, very beautiful game that is Battlefield 4. I love the destruction. The guns feel great. And on the PlayStation 4 controller, it is the best to me that Sony has ever had. It. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, add your favorites. Let me know if you want to see more Battlefield 4 PS4 action coming your way. Until that time, though, guys, it was a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all later.